Hello, Cowboy Jim. Um, Sunday night, 10 o'clock. I was uh, just um, having the privilege of, of um, watching as much as I could about the Ukraine and and so on. And I was seeing the, the hundreds of thousands of uh, Ukrainian people uh, protesting um, in Canada, across North America. There was a liberal uh, lady. Um, I didn't really enjoy much of what she said recently about the Canadian uh, Freedom Convoy, uh, but apparently she is Ukrainian and she was uh, marching uh, with the Ukrainian people in Canada. I support them because I support freedom. I stand against tyranny, hypocrisy, otherwise no one is. We'll not say it. And um, she was marching at the front of the line and I, and I want you to know I did not like what she was saying about the Canadian Freedom Convoy. N not at all. And um, But Elena Guinez, uh, a mother, young, uh, three children in a bomb shelter, otherwise known as a subway in Kiev. Um, saying, please, please help us. Saying to, uh, <laughs> oh geez, uh, to Biden down in the States, send, send troops in, help us. Biden wouldn't send troops in. I mean, that would be an affront to Putin and it might lead to a third world war. Biden's opinion would be, the lady's a mother. She has three children. Her husband is out on the street fighting for his life and his country's life. Oh, geez, you have no idea how I despise politicians. Oh, dear God. You have no idea. I loathe the politicians who act like people who say one thing on Sunday and another thing on Monday. They act it out on Monday. They, they talk about Sunday, but they act her out on Monday. So, Trudeau, our vaunted leader, his little liberal lady who is of Ukrainian descent, she's marching. Where's Trudeau? Where is that pussy? Where is that blackface man? Too cold? Not the right time of the year to march? He marched with Black Lives Matter. All Lives Matter. I'm pretty sure he marched with LGB community. LGB community are important. Their freedom of choice. It's their freedom of choice. But Trudeau would not even talk to the Canadian truckers. He said because he didn't believe in them. I put forth the idea that from one poll that I saw, one third of Canadians chose to support the Canadian Freedom Convoy. The truckers of Canada, of Canada 
I, I ran track. My sons ran track. My little sister ran truck. She went to Ottawa. She runs truck across the border down into the States. My brother-in-law runs truck. My own brother-in-law, he runs dump truck and anything. His son, he runs anything. Listen, where was Trudeau today? Family dinner? Off at his cottage? Ice fishing? Oh, you don't suppose for one minute that the reason Trudeau let that little lady from his own party, who is Ukrainian, dissent, march with all the other <laughs> Ukrainian people in Canada and North America. You don't suppose that Trudeau wouldn't march beside her in support of the people like uh, Elena Gunez, a mom, three children tucked away in a subway in Kiev, her husband out on the streets, fighting for his life, for her life, for the lives of their children, for the, the city. Is it possible that Trudeau wouldn't march with her? She's a liberal. He's a liberal. Trudeau wouldn't march with her because he did not, as he said, with the Canadian Freedom Convoy truckers. He didn't believe in us. In only was at Coots a bit. But he didn't believe enough in the Canadian truckers in order to even talk with them, even talk with them. Think about that. He wouldn't even talk with them. Arrogant, arrogant, arrogant. What Trudeau? You didn't want to risk offending your hero? What's his name? Let's see if I can remember. G G G C G G Ping. Anyways, Chinese Communist Party. Oh, of which you said they were your heroes as far as a country was concerned because they could turn their economy around on a dime. You didn't understand. I think it's the Wiggins or something. Their economy pivoted easily because it pivoted on the lives of men, women, children who were crushed. As Putin is trying to crush the Ukraine. Trudeau, you, you useless piece of human flesh. Oh. Isn't there a scripture says something like, be very certain your sins will find you out? If you stay in the public line, limelight long enough, people will see through your corruption, sickness. So tell me, Trudeau, you idiot, why did you not stand with the Ukrainian people. Why did you not march with them? You chose not to believe in them as you chose not to believe in the Canadian Free Freedom Convoy truckers? You useless person. Canada. Gee whiz. Canada. 
you ever get a chance to vote again, you vote that you vote that bastard out of office. Elena Gnez. I I I get up in the morning. I turn the uh, the news on. Yeah, I pray. I pray she's still alive. I pray her husband is still alive. That uh, head of the Ukraine. Oh, that we as Canadians had a prime minister that we were not ashamed of, who was half the man that Ukrainian man is. Trudeau. Son. Right off into the sunset. We'll forget you long before you ever forget us. Because you betrayed us. You betrayed uh, Canada. Were you marching today, you useless piece of human dung? No, you weren't. I didn't see you. You stand with the Ukrainian people. Oh, pretend. Oh, pretend. Oh, pretend. Oh, we're going to send help. Six months ago, it would have been more help. <laughs> Justin Trudeau, Joe Biden in the States, Xi Jinping, CPP, Putin, not Soviet Russia, not the Russian people. They're protesting as well. Y'all should be ashamed. Human life is more important. Baby children, 355 people have been killed in the Ukraine, 14 of which were baby children. Justin, Justin, you useless person. Biden, well, if you were in your right mind, I'd be pissed with you. Being 72, I'm kind of, oh, geez, oh, geez. When you said mental acuity go out the door, I hope it's not soon for me. It's already done for you, son. God bless Canada. God bless the people of the Ukraine. God deal with Putin. Father God bless the Russian people, the Chinese people, the Ukrainian people. Deal with Putin. G G Ping, whatever whatever the COVID guy. It's fact. Justin Trudeau. Well, God bless, children. Y'all have a good night. Pray for that little girl. Pray for the mothers. Pray for the children. Pray for the men who have enough guts to stand up and fight for their country. Pray that God to get rid of the leaders who are not worthy to lead. Pray for that 
Ukrainian, whatever he is, prime minister or whatever. He's my type of man, tough. Hmm. Biden in his democratic perspective, oh, was very gracious of him. He said, you want us to send us a, send a plane over and get you out of the country? <laughs> Guy said, I'm not leaving. Send us ammunition. We need, we need ammunition. If the world cared as much as they pretend to care about the Ukraine, they would have sent a whole lot more than just ammunition. Long before now. And this uh, pussy attitude. Well, let's just try to pretend like we're giving... Russia certain restraints will pull certain banks out of the SWIFT organization. Well, we won't pick on the banks that we pay to buy the oil from Putin and Soviet Russia that we need in the United States of America because Biden screwed up the whole, the, 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 the whole independent energy that Donald Trump had put in place. Anyways, let's shut this down. Too much emotion, children. I am so sorry. God bless you all. Have a good night. Pray. Pray that those two nutcases... That's Putin and Biden. Don't screw up and push the wrong stupid buttons. But if they do, God already knows about the whole deal. I just don't want to see any more little kids killed not right. God bless you all. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.